Hey YouTube, what's going on here? This is Chicago Sport Fan. We're coming at you with another video. Been a very long time since I have made a video. I think almost a, almost a year now. But I'm gonna come back with something that's been on my mind, and this is not about sports. And I'm sure that this is gonna get a large uproar in the comments. Uh, a lot of good discussion going on. I hope um, this is very controversial thing that I'm about to talk about, and as you can tell from the title, it is about Phil Robertson, star of the hit reality TV show, Duck Dynasty, if you want to call it reality TV, because from what I've seen on the show, I believe it's all bullshit, um, but that's just me, uh, it seems staged as hell, but anyway, uh, recently Phil Robertson was interviewed by GQ Magazine, for pretty much saying that homosexuality was equal to bestiality. Those of you who do not know what bestiality is, it is man or woman having sex with animal. Dog, cat, horse, cow, etc. Anything you can think of. Disgusting. Which that is a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing to even say about people who are all supposed to be God's people. Um, but I'll get on to that, I'll get into that later on in the video. Um, you know, and I, I asked my, oh, ex before that, uh, I noticed on social media, many people on social media were defending Phil Robertson, people were happy that he expressed his beliefs of Christianity, and people were happy that he expressed his right to uh, freedom of speech which I am for freedom of speech personally I everyone should be for freedom of speech I mean if you're not for freedom of speech you're anti-american because freedom of speech is something that lots of countries don't have and we're lucky enough to have and this guy used freedom of speech and the words that he chose were probably not very wise and probably pissed a lot of people off. People like homosexuals, gays, lesbians, you know, the, I'm sure those people got extremely offended. Now the people that didn't get offended were Christians. Christians did not get offended by this because at a biblical standpoint, Phil Robertson is speaking the truth. Me personally, I am not a Christian. I used to be a Christian. I used to go to church. Um, and according to the Bible, it is a sin for man and man to have any love or sexual sexual love together at all. There's a certain Bible verse, which I'm not sure it's quite a popular Bible verse just because it's a bullshit one. Um, if I could get that up, I, I would tell you guys, but I don't think I'm going to. Maybe leave it in the comment section. Um, but I'm also going to read something that I read. Um, it was called, uh, I found it on the internet, I just googled Phil Robertson's name, and this is what I found, and it looked, looked quite interesting. The name of the article was, when you defend Phil Robertson, here's what you're really defending. It's a long article, I'm going to read you one little part of it, from something that Phil Robertson said in 2010. When with Women with women, men with men, they committed indecent acts with one another, and they received, received in themselves the due penalty of their perversions. They're full of murder, envy, strife, hatred. They are insolent, arrogant God-haters. They are heartless, they are faithless, they are senseless, they are ruthless, they invented ways of doing evil. Christians, that's coming from a man that you are supporting. That's coming, a man, that's coming from a man that all of you are rallying around saying, thank you for expressing your beliefs. Now tell me, do you really believe this? Do you really believe? Do you know a gay person? Nowadays, everyone knows a gay person. I know, I know gay people. They don't hate, they don't hate you. They aren't trying to find ways to make new evil. They're not full of murder. They love you just as you 
maybe, or not love, but maybe like, I should say, they, they like you and look at you maybe the same way, I mean, nowadays, more and more people are accepting gay people, and this old southern hick looks like he doesn't, obviously. <coughs> I'm not saying that everyone in the south is a hick. I'm from Iowa, which is quite, I don't know how to say it, hicky itself. Weird, weird thing to say, but still. Uh, recently on Facebook, one of my Facebook friends, his name is Gary, posted a picture. It showed the Duck Dynasty people on there, and it said, One million likes for freedom of speech in 24 hours. Okay? I posted on I'll, I'll read you some of the comments that I exchanged <coughs> with Gary. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that I exchanged with Gary. <clears throat> Here I go. I said, I don't understand why everyone is on Phil Roberts' side. I believe in freedom of speech, but in today's world, there are there is a line to be crossed, and I believe Phil Robertson crossed that line. He said he commented back. He, he asked me how. He practically said being gay is a sin. I understand he was expressing his belief. But in today's world, you cannot be anti-gay. Yesterday's world is not today's world. Gay people are no longer shunned upon in our society. And being a public figure like he is should pick wiser words. And this, this next comment is referring to Chick-fil-A. Because it just, re it, right when I, right after I typed it down, it hit me about the whole entire Chick-fil-A thing that happened a year or so ago. If you guys remember or not. And if you don't, I'll revamp your memory. Also, one year ago, the owner of Chick-fil-A, a fast food restaurant, was criticized for saying marriages between a man, a woman, and God. He was obviously a Christian who believed being gay was against God's will. And according to the Bible, it is. Once the owner of Chick-fil-A said that, he had a lot of backlash from almost everyone. Most people throughout... Most people thought... He abused the right to speak freely for the fact we live in a n new society. But now that Phil Robertson has said something along <coughs> along the same line, he is being supported for using... He actually said something worse, by the way. Um, this guy just said something about marriage, but what Phil Robertson said is ten times worse. Worse. Uh, but now that Phil Roberts has said something along the same line, he is being supported for using his will to speak freely. But so did Dan Cathy. He is the owner of Chick-fil-A. Also spoke freely, and he was ridiculed so far people even said they would never eat at his restaurant. But I don't see anyone saying they don't want to watch Duck Dynasty anymore. The only difference between Phil and Dan is that one of them have the highest rated TV, reality TV show in America. Which is true. Duck Dynasty is the highest rated TV show in America. And like I already said, it's all a bunch of bullshit. Uh, he said back, <coughs> Michael Christie, which is my name, I understand where you think you're, you're coming from. Who has the right to judge judge what, is, what line is crossed when it comes to freedom of speech? So should we make more laws? make it illegal to say certain words or phrases even though we, even though we are even though we are the ones responsible for them should it be illegal to say a so-called cuss word should i get put in prison for saying fag lesbo or the n-word etc etc no one seems to listen to what he said after that it's what he said after it was how they're just pretty much going around trying to teach people of show the people the word of God and Jesus and they accept everyone which that was after he got suspended so yeah of course he's going to say something after that <clears throat> it's his belief why is it that we all focus on on this instead of making our own selves better this is a horribly self-centered world and that is what you are blind to do you even know what Phil was talking about when he spoke of, of his beliefs Anyone can find fault in religion, yet, if you research the words Jesus spoke, you will find no fault. His words are simple, plain, and nothing but the truth. 
if this world ad adhered to his principles, there would indeed be peace in the world. Yet, unfortunately, selfishness is not encouraged at all, nor taught. And here is my response. To be quite to be all quite honest, I don't find much fact in the Bible or the Word of God. I try to base my reasonings on logic, not faith. And no, I don't think there should be any laws enforced on freedom of speech. But the line is honestly set by media and people's sensitivity. I'm not that sensitive, but I can imagine how someone who is gay felt when they read something a public figure has said about how they live their life. Now, th this is a weird kind of scenario set up. But it works. Imagine if a gay man with a reality TV show came out and said how he thinks Christianity lifestyle is bullshit. And love is between two men. People would most likely be offended and want whoever that person is suspended from their show. And I, and then that's all a bunch of blah 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 that I said after it. <clears throat> and he responded back. I believe he was probably upset about my, he's a Christian. I'm actually related to Gary, my uncle. Um, but, you know, the rest of it was actually kind of turned into religion, but I'll save that one. Well, not the comments, but I'll save talking about religion into another video. Because I would like to get on more of this kind of religion talk, because it's something I'm very interested in. Um, but I, I really just... I, it kind of upsets me that so many people are really on Phil Roberts' side. I mean... Sure, you know, you can believe in God and Jesus Christ, but gay people are the same as everyone else. They really are. And we have learned that through the past years. You know, gay people used to be hated on. Even in the 90s, people weren't accepting gay people. It's only been since the early 2000s, maybe a little bit even on in the 2000s, that people have finally accepted gay people. I, I am not gay. Like, I, I, I do know people who are gay. Um, you know, and these people are just like you and me. Um, something I did read that was pretty funny. Um, I'll also leave a link to this article in the news feed. Or not the news feed, in the description. Um, Charlie Sheen ended up um, talking about Phil Robertson, which I found this very funny. Quite funny, actually. Um, Charlie Sheen, um, he's just the biggest partier in the whole entire world. Him and Kim Jong Un, <laughs> they're right there um, with the biggest partiers in the world. Obviously, Kim Jong Un is a joke right there. Um, but Charlie Sheen, let me try to finally said, uh, he's used to be the star. Two and a Half Men, he's now stars in his own TV show, Anger Management. Um, okay, where is it at? Oh, I really hope I can find it. Because it, it was, I, I actually laughed at it when I first read it. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just going to leave the link in the description box because I can't seem to find it right now. But it, it, it's really worth to read into what Charlie Sheen said. Um, you know, uh, I, I would love to hear some of your guys' uh, feedback on this video uh, because it's very controversial. And I'd also like you guys to maybe tell me if you'd like to see more videos like this um, about religion because I'm sure I'm opening up into a much larger base of viewers now. So, uh, you guys leave a comment, um, and if you guys are new to my channel and you like this video, uh, maybe you subscribe me. That that help me out a lot, and I'll try to keep up with videos. Um, so, thank you guys, and peace out.